Caleb Huskies. Welcome back to the Only School News Show, where every episode has been filmed behind a local Schlotzkies. I'm Renee Brown. And I'm Kinsey Davis. Prom was last weekend. We hope everyone had a blast, because we sure did. We asked you guys to send in some photos to our Instagram, so here's a quick recap. Attention seniors, there will be a graduation practice on May 13th at 9.30 in the stadium. Students need to be in the homesite bleachers by 9.30. After graduation practice, there will be a senior picnic from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Tickets are on sale in the finance office or online for $12 from now to Thursday, May 12th. The tickets will enter you in a raffle for prizes. You have to be present for this. You will also be getting a voucher for your food from food trucks. There will also be a free photo booth for anyone who wants to take pictures. Be sure and get your tickets and have fun seniors. If you are a senior and would like to visit your old elementary school, you now have the chance. If you would like to visit John Ross, meet the Husky at 9.15 on May 10th. Don't forget to bring your cap and gown. Seniors wanting to visit Cross Timbers need to meet at Cross Timbers at 9.30, also on May 10th. Students who went to Russell Doherty can meet there at 3 p.m. on May 11th. Hope you guys have a good time. Let's head over to Taylor for this week's Taylor Talks. Hey everybody, I'm Taylor. Welcome back to this week's Taylor. I'm just, yeah, no, I'm just joking. We actually don't have a Taylor Talks this week. So, uh, yeah. Guess we can go ahead and cut the sports. Hey Huskies, we hope you guys had an amazing week. I'm Caitlin Rios. And I'm Vera Rush. Varsity Baseball played Northwest Classen last Wednesday. The first score was 19-0. The second score was 16-0. Today, baseball will be having regionals. It will be at Mustang. We are so proud of your hard work all season, Huskies. Girls Tennis won the Heritage Hall Invitational last Friday. The girls were at regionals on Monday and are going to be at state tomorrow and Saturday. The boys tennis team will be at regionals next Monday in state on Friday the 13th. Good luck to our Huskies. The girls golf team was at state yesterday and today. Boys golf was at the 6A West Regional Tournament on Tuesday and they will be playing in the state tournament next Monday. Congrats to everyone who competed. Both girls and boys soccer played the first round of playoffs on Tuesday. Check out ENHS Athletics Instagram account for results and to see if we may host a second round. The varsity boys and girls track team begin to finish their season at regionals this Saturday. We are expecting a solid amount of those runners to qualify for state the coming week. Good luck to our Huskies. That's all we have for sports this week. <laughs> no! <laughs> Hola Huskies, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Cinco de Mayo, which is today. Um, Cinco de Mayo celebrates the Battle of Puebla, and not just a battle, but a victory for the Mexican side in the Franco-French War. So this battle happened in 1862. French, the French were in Mexico trying to reclaim some money and debt that Mexico had gone into, uh, but Mexico was not able to pay it, and so the French wanted to take over their land and establish uh, you know, power in Mexico. And so the French were a lot more powerful at the time than Mexico. Uh, and it said that about 5,000 troops from the French side attacked uh, a Mexican outpost in the Battle of Puebla. And about 2,000 Mexican soldiers were able to hold them off. And so Cinco de Mayo celebrates the victory at the Battle of Puebla. It's not Independence Day, uh, but it is a pretty significant moment for Puebla in Mexico and for the people who defended it there. So uh, another fun fact is that some historians think that the Mexican side actually holding off the French was able to help uh, the United States because it was about to be, you know, it was going on during the Civil War and some believe that the French may have aided the South uh, and so the North was able to kind of take care of business and defeat the South in the Civil War before the French were able to get there. And so the U.S. eventually helped Mexico kind of oust the French, and that's a little bit about Cinco de Mayo. 
Tonight at 6 p.m., there'll be a multicultural and key club award ceremony. It'll be in the main cafeteria. There will also be a speech and debate award ceremony in the auditorium at 7.30 p.m. That's all we have for this week. We hope you enjoyed. Remember, Huskies, the Walmart bakery is required to throw out baked goods more than a day old. So if you're ever hungry, you know what dumpster you should be hanging around. Have a great weekend.